What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I would like to talk about the success of Call of Duty Mobile and how a lot of analysts are predicting that that success is going to roll over into Modern Warfare's release. Now a lot of these analysts several weeks back predicted that Call of Duty Modern Warfare would be the best selling game of this year. That's really no surprise. Uh, it is a Modern Warfare game. We knew that would drum up a lot of interest. Also, it's just every year Call of Duty is within the top one to five top selling games. You know, it's always in that top five kind of category. Another thing, in my opinion, is there's not a lot of games coming out this year. Um, I think with the announcement of the new Xbox and new PlayStation coming out next fall, a lot of developers are probably waiting for those new consoles before they come out with their games so they can put their games on the new platforms. And there's just not a lot going on right now, so it's going to drive people to buy Modern Warfare just to have something new to play. So I think the success of Modern Warfare was already going to be good, but I think it's interesting that a lot of these analysts are saying the success of Call of Duty Mobile is going to make it even better. Now, Call of Duty Mobile, in case you have not played it, of course, you know, is on. You can play on your Android, your uh, iOS device, whatever the case may be, but it has generated a lot of buzz and has broke a lot of records within the first week of release. Within its first week of release, it surpassed 100 million downloads across iOS and Android, making it the uh, making it the fastest in history, or the fastest mobile game in history to reach that install base in just one week after its launch. Now, if you look at things like PUBG, Fortnite, and Apex, within their first week. You're looking at 26.3 million, 22.5 million, and 25 million uh, downloads for those three games. So it is very impressive that you can add all three of those games together within their first week, and they don't even equal what Call of Duty has, or how many times Call of Duty has been downloaded. So that's it, that is impressive within itself. Also, within the first week, uh, Call of Duty Mobile has generated 17.7 .7 million dollars in player spending. So you're looking at things that people are purchasing in game. And of course, those kind of things are going to be in-game. It is a free-to-play game, so there's always stuff to buy in a free-to-play game. I do find it interesting that a lot of analysts are thinking that this success is going to go kind of over to Modern Warfare. Now, I think Activision was smart uh, when they released this, or kind of the timing of these releases. They probably figured if they released the Call of Duty Mobile a few weeks before Modern Warfare, a lot of people would pick it up and play it. And if it was very successful, they probably thought some people may kind of get interest in playing Modern Warfare. Maybe it was some people that didn't get to play the Alpha, that didn't get to play the Beta. Maybe it would drum up some interest for those individuals. And if it wasn't just a huge success, what's it really going to hurt? Modern Warfare has already been predicted to be the best-selling game this year, so they're already predicting great sales, I'm sure, in their minds. My biggest question is, will it really help out? I, I think it could drive some of those players, like I said, that didn't get to play the Alpha or the Beta of Modern Warfare. It could... These people could be playing the mobile version and get some interest and say, hey, you know, a new Call of Duty is about to come out in, what, two weeks now? And maybe I'll pick that up, even though I wasn't planning on it. I'm not sure if it's going to change a lot of players' minds that already played the alpha or the beta. I think their minds are already made up whether they're going to purchase the game or not. And I know they've had a lot of controversy the last few weeks, you know, with the whole Spec Ops thing, you know, parts of it, the survival mode only being on PlayStation for a year. Even though it's not a big percentage, I'm still not a fan of that. You guys know my opinions on this. I think it's ridiculous. All of that stuff should be done done away with, in my opinion. But I, I think a lot of people kind of lost interest in Modern Warfare. So a lot of people said they have canceled their pre-order. So I think they're hoping this is going to drive interest towards the game because of the Call of Duty Mobile success. I think they're hoping a lot of people that may not have been planning on buying the game just from the get-go will maybe purchase it now. The thing that I'm really hoping is they can look at this and of course they're going to make tons of money from microtransactions with either game but now with the success of mobile it being free they know they can make a lot of money with these microtransactions i'm hoping they are a little bit smarter with the microtransactions that they're going to be doing within uh, call of duty modern warfare maybe they won't be quite as greedy with them who knows they probably will but i'm hoping that it's going to maybe they can look at both of these games and figure out a way to make them both enjoyable for players to play and not something that just you have to throw money at eventually. You know, kind of like Black Ops 4 was in the end. You had to throw money at loot boxes just to be able to get weapons. I'm hoping Modern Warfare doesn't go in that direction. But leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think the success of Call of Duty Mobile 
will bring more success to the launch of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Thank you.